it going? This is uh, Marty Kokish, and uh, welcome to my garage, Marty's garage. Um, so, uh, just got back from my parents' place. Um, had my dad help me with a couple things. Um, first of all, the first thing I was screwing around with is uh, I was just uh, taking my alternator apart, mostly so it's uh, going to paint it. It actually uh, works just fine, but. Uh, I don't know. I've been known to uh, take apart perfectly good working things just to see how they work and stuff. <clears throat> and uh, so I guess I, I guess I got a little bit of meth head in me or something like that. Um, but yeah. So main thing was I just kind of wanted to take it apart so it's a little bit easier to tape up and uh, gonna gonna paint that up. But uh, while I was at that, um, uh, Norm uh, uh, lent me his uh, engine stand. So, because um, today I want to try to get that engine out of there. And so, and then here I've got that uh, that engine hoist slash cherry picker deal that uh, uh, my brother's friend uh, Jesse borrowed me. So, uh, or lent to me. And uh, yeah, so. I don't have a whole lot left to do um, uh, in preparation, I guess. Uh, these uh, oil cooler lines uh, need to come out, uh, and uh, along with the oil cooler. And uh, I actually don't have a, a wrench that, that fits on these guys, and uh, it's, uh, it's not back here. Um, it's like the biggest one I have is 7 eighths. And uh, yeah, and I even have uh, this what I like to call a Bohemian speed wrench, <laughs> and uh, uh, couldn't, it's it's on there pretty good. I guess it's uh, uh, one side of it's made out of aluminum, and one side is made out of steel, so they kind of fuse together. So, um, so with that being said, uh, I guess you're. It's from what I've read. Uh, uh, there's a site I like to go to called uh, uh, the uh, the mgexperience.net, and it's a, a great repository of information, I guess you could say. And uh, probably the uh, I don't know the best thing about it, in my opinion, is uh, the uh, the amount of activity that's on there. Not so much the uh, 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 the large user base. There is a large user base, but uh, you know, if you check it throughout the day, the topics are just flying through there. So um, it's reassuring. So if you have a question, you can post it there, and somebody's going to answer it pretty quickly, <laughs> probably within the hour. So that's cool. So uh, congrats to those guys over at uh, the MG, mgexperience.net. And uh, but that being said, uh, these uh, I, I read on there. There's a uh, uh, that when you pull the engine and stuff, these you should really uh, clean up this oil cooler radiator deal up here pretty good, and these hoses should probably be changed. So as a way to to rectify the situation, I'm just going to snip these bad boys off and uh, uh, throw that in the. I'll, I'll deal with this later bucket, <laughs> and uh, so those are coming off. I'm just going to snip those. Um, <clears throat> The uh, uh, I've heard you can get it out of here with the exhaust uh, manifold still in place, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get it out of there. I just think that see, here's the motor mount down here. I just think that this one would get stuck in here for some reason. Um, but uh, these bolts are kind of gonna be kind of hard to get at um, uh, where the manifold connects to the exhaust pipe down there. Um, so that could be trying. And uh, I guess the only other thing left is uh, got to crawl underneath here and uh, um, what do you call it? The uh, uh, got to undo the transmission. Um, it's uh, 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 bolted to a cross member of sorts. And well, I've got to undo those uh, motor mounts as well. But uh, so I got a few things minor. Maybe might take me a little bit to do. Um, before I actually get this out of here, but uh, I don't know. So uh, I'll let you go for now, and I'll I'll check back in a little bit when I make some progress. So uh, see you back 
soon. Okay, back for a little update. Uh, buddy Chris actually stopped by and he's kind of helping me with the stuff up here. Um, but uh, we got the oil cooler lines cut up <laughs> and so uh, um, kind of undid the uh, motor mounts a little bit. And uh, I'll, I'll just kind of show you the, so, the stuff I'm going to be doing. It's kind of close quarters here, but just to give you an idea where we're at, here's the uh, oil pan to the engine. Here's the, uh, the bell housing deal. And uh, here's the cross member. These are the two nuts that I have to take out. And uh, so then uh, here's the, uh, the gearbox and over there's that uh, uh, drive shaft we disconnected a couple episodes ago. So let me see if I can, there's some wiring in here. I'm gonna need to loosen up. You can see right in there. That's, uh, I don't know what that is, but it's gonna need to get disconnected. Uh, and then this right here, this cable that, uh, let me set this down. This right here, I believe, is the Speedo cable. So I'll have to undo that. And then if I kind of Scoot over here, not so much. Maybe I can just point the camera up there. Uh, no, no, that works like shit. But there's there's a wire right here on the side of the gear shift selector, and that's the uh, uh, reverse uh, light. So that's gonna come off. And then right here is the, uh, the clutch mechanism. I'm gonna have to disconnect that off the transmission. Uh, and uh, so yeah, that's about it. And uh, I'll check back in a little bit again. Okay, uh, back. So uh, last night we kind of had an unfortunate turn of turn of events. Uh, actually ended up getting kind of sick last night. So Chris and I worked on it for a little bit, and then uh, had to call it quits. So um, and then so it's the next day now. I'm kind of out here. And uh, we got some stuff done. We got like the remote control shifter deal undone and uh, got those tubes off, got the wiring disconnected from the starter down there. Uh, got the bolts out of the cross member. Uh, what else did I do? I, I still have a, still have a couple things left to uh, uh, like the speedo and a couple of the, the reverse light, a couple things on the transmission there. Oh, and the clutch slave cylinder. I have to disconnect that, but I'm still kind of feeling like ass today. And uh, so kind of just putting stuff back. And uh, I don't know. I've got some work work to do for my real job. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. Uh, so. I guess this can be part one <laughs> of the actual engine removal, but I don't know, stay tuned. Hopefully next episode we'll actually get this out of here. So, um, as always, uh, uh, I've been, well, I've been getting a lot of feedback from you guys lately. Uh, a lot of good pointers um, on how to make the show better and uh, uh, lots of kind, wor kind words of encouragement and uh, I really appreciate it. Um, so, keep coming. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and uh, Marty's Garage is uh, available on uh, uh, iTunes and uh, the Zune Marketplace. Uh, if you like to watch it on your iPod or your Zune or whatever, and uh, you know, um, and I, I usually kind of, uh, you know, I, I always put the sh show out on YouTube and Live TV as well if you want to watch it streaming online. So until um, next time, see you later. Thanks for watching.